everybody, this is Praxis and I'm back at it again today. I'm really prioritizing getting these holes burned down through the, uh, the root uh, here. This one is pretty much done. There's just a little bit of, ugh, in the smoke right there. There's just a little bit of, uh, of root. okay, I'm still in the smoke over here. Okay. Maybe, I'll, maybe I'll hang out over here. Uh, this one right next to you, uh, the root is almost burned out on that one. In fact, uh, I think if I just took a few swings with an ax, I could finish it off, but I'm kind of letting that passively finish up. This one here is proving to be more of a, a challenge. Um, I finally started drilling, oh, I finally finished drilling through it. I've been using this one and a quarter inch drill bit to go down into it to kind of open it up. And I was using a hatchet to get down in there a little too. Uh, I'm within four inches of getting through the stump down in, uh, not stump, root uh, down to the ground. And I've been using this, uh, this bellows to try to blow air down into it like this. It's working okay. Um, the problem with this one is it's such a narrow hole that uh, you know the air doesn't really get down in there. And fire, of course, burns up, not down. Um, so it's been hard getting the you know the heat to get da down into the stump. But this is this thing here is helping. I, I have some early improvements on this. This is the first time I've ever actually used this. Usually I just kind of blow into the fires, but this is keeping me from hyperventilating. Um, this, uh, you know, very well designed by the manufacturers, but uh, uh, kind of a, an easy improvement might be that uh, the materials that they make it out of, you know, if you're going to make something that is for use in or near a fire, why not make it with things that don't melt? You know, that seems like um, almost common sense, but, you know, I guess it's still useful, but I, 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 maybe I can tape it up. That really should be made out of something that, you know, doesn't melt. But uh, I think maybe this was more of a cosmetic one <laughs> when I got it. But, you know, it, it certainly is better than blowing into the fire at the moment. But, yeah, it would be nicer if, uh, if uh, you know, it didn't have holes all over it. Anyway, this side here is coming along. Um, in fact, I think I'm going to finish this side before those uh, holes over there are finished burning out. Uh, this is all ready to accept a, um, a post. Uh, there's going to be another post here. I haven't dug this one yet. Uh, th this is all ready to accept a post. I've got a couple of these, uh, uh, they're, they're just pieces of iron bar, like just hikes in the woods, sometimes strewn throughout the woods near ra railroad tracks. There'll be, you know, just pieces of metal, bolts and things like that. I've been taking them, cutting them up, and uh, drilling holes and putting them into the holes, and then I put the concrete form right on top of that. I'm going to hammer those in with a little mini sledge, too. Uh, and there's going to be another one right here. So one, two, three, and right here. This is the only one I haven't dug, so everything's really ready to go in. I think by the end of the day today, and certainly by tomorrow, I should have at least three and probably four of these things all done. And then it's really just a matter of, uh, of these guys over here. Uh, unfortunately, I can't, I can't start building the structure until every single foot is in. Um, so, yeah, I'm just trying to keep these guys going as fast as I can. We were having them go for a while yesterday, and, uh, Again, that one's going to be done. It's just going to be this one. It's going to be the entire structure held up because it needs a bunch of this. I don't know. I mean, I've gone through eight inches or so. You know, and once I get it down all the way and it's open enough, I think it'll be able to kind of sustain itself and I want to keep uh, blasting air in there. But uh, it's, uh, it's a challenge, but you know, it's going to give us something wonderful. We're going to have this really awesome woodshed. It's going to dry our firewood out and keep us warm in the winter. It's keeping me warm right now though. That's it. Thanks for watching.